you want to compete in these uh, tournaments, you really got to know the rule sets. Same thing with the IBJJF rule set. You know, I play those rule sets to the point of frustration to my opponent. You know, like I know I'm playing the corner, like I, when I'm going against the absolute guys, the guys are like, you know, 80, 90 pounds heavier. I have to like initiate the throw close to the end of the mat so that if I mess up and I end up underneath them, we can get a restart, right? Mm -hmm. But here, there's no restart. So mm -hmm. I played too much of that rule where I'm like, oh, uh, now I'm stuck underneath. So you have to make sure you know the rules really well, right? So just the four takeaways that we I talked about was there are no out of bounds for ACC. Mm -hmm. There are points for getting out of the, rolling out of the mount. Also, if you get out of a side control, it's it could be four points. So like your side control on top of me, I roll you over. Boom. That's two points, and it ended up inside control. That's two more points. That's four points. That's a whereas IBGF is no points. Right. Right. So now it's just based on the rule set about how, how you're going to play the game. So just be be aware of this. Okay. Uh, so we said no out of bounds. Uh, four. four uh, no points for the first half. Right. No points for the first half of the match. Points for the second. Part that the rules aren't consistent all the way through. Yes. This is where you have to be. And so then therefore, if you're in the finals match and you need to get to the guard, let the guy take you down because there's no points. Yeah. So now this is very important. But you get penalized for guard sitting the first half of the game. Only in the finals. Only in the finals. Only in the finals. <laughs> oh, leading up to that, you're good to go. Okay? So again, I always thought like this is the this is the best rule set because it but now that so many people are playing the rule set, mm -hmm. you just pander into the rules. You just have to know what the rules are and play the line very carefully. You know, just like Kaina Dorothy getting a negative lead but winning by like full, right? Yeah, we're yeah. yeah. all online courses. So. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Why am I on online courses? Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, wait, what did you say? There's no out of bounds? There's no out of bounds. Right. They're, they're going to let it go until they can stop the action. And they're going to they're gonna restart you in the exact same position that you ended up in. <laughs> okay. Right. So, so therefore, okay. there's no running out of bounds. There's no like pulling anybody out. Because one of the things for the IBGGF is if you're in a submission and you pull the guy out of bounds, you're automatically, you automatically lost the match. So yeah, so you have to know the rules. And that also goes to say that winning the tournament or losing the tournament or the outcome was that for that day, right? It's not necessarily like a total uh, uh, barometer for how to measure your jiu-jitsu, you know, especially if you're doing a lot of different rule sets. And I've done a lot of rule sets. No, no an ACC, IBGGF, PBI, uh, no time limit, submission only. Like there's a lot things that can happen and so you the, the way that you're you have to be able to adapt your game to the rule set at that time. Right? So that's a, that's a big thing. Okay? That being said, there's a lot to be there's a lot to be learned from challenging yourself and I highly recommend you do it as much as you can. So anyway let's play with these rule set. Yeah, let's get ready. Uh, let's get some water mouthpieces and go one, two, three.